New tonight, a Shelby County judge talks about the stabbing death of an inmate, reportedly by the hands of another inmate, as they were waiting for hearings this morning at 201 Poplar. Good evening, everyone. I'm Darcy Thomas. I'm Daryl Green. Fox 13 was in the courtroom waiting for another hearing when there was a commotion behind a closed door in the inmate holding area. The courtroom was immediately cleared, and we have live team coverage tonight. Fox 13's Kayla Solomon talked to a woman who says it was her son who was killed. But we begin with Fox 13's Mandy Rock live outside of the courtroom. Mandy, you talked to a witness, but you also talked to the judge about what happened. Yeah, that's right. And this all happened inside Criminal Court Division 1 this morning. Judge Paula Scan said she was preparing to begin court for the day when she started hearing screaming coming from the inmate lockup room. This is by far the worst that I have ever seen in a courtroom setting. For one inmate, and it certainly sounds like it was planned. Only Fox 13's camera was rolling inside the courtroom when suddenly there was a scream on the other side of the door. <laughs> Judge Paula Scan said an inmate stabbed another with a makeshift knife inside the holding area behind her courtroom. We heard a lot of yelling, mm -hmm. yelling and screaming, and shortly after that, Officer Barnes came out very quickly with an inmate who was holding his throat like this. And he was like, please don't let me die. Now he was holding his neck. They say he gets that in the main artery. Jerry Dalton was in the courthouse when it happened. Oh, I was shocked. Mm -hmm. I was shocked because this is a courtroom. You know, they supposed to have everything, you know, legit. Everything supposed to be we are secure. The sheriff's office said the victim, identified by family as 25-year-old Dion Bird, was rushed to Regional 1 where he later died. Judge Scan said the suspect was dealing with mental health issues. She said this shows why inmates must be checked for weapons. First of all, an inmate shouldn't have access, should not have a shank. And then how does it get from the jail up into the courtroom setting? I don't understand how that happened. And Judge Scan told me because everyone was so shaken up over this, they reset cases that were supposed to be heard today for another date. I also repeatedly reached out to the sheriff's office for comment and specifically to speak to Sheriff Lloyd Bonner about this, but they told me they are not doing any interviews until they get more information. Darcy? That is Fox 13's Mandy Rock reporting live downtown tonight. Thank you so much, Mandy. Hours after the stabbing, a Memphis woman called Fox 13 to tell us that it was her son who was killed. And just moments ago, she and other family members gathered for a balloon release outside the jail. Fox 13's Kayla Solomon joins us live outside of 201. Kayla, Bird's mother says that she was not even notified about the death of her son by the sheriff's office. Yeah, Darcy, I spoke to Laquita Bird just moments ago, and she told me she didn't hear from anyone from the sheriff's office until about 3 o'clock this afternoon. She says this morning she knew her son had a court appearance, and instead of hearing from his attorney about how it went, it was the attorney appointed to her son that told her he was killed. Now, her son, Dion Bird, was 25 years old. The sheriff's office says he was stabbed by another inmate behind a court Room as he was waiting to stand before a judge. Laquita Bird says this is the second son she's lost to violence here in Memphis. She describes Dion as lovable and kind and says although he wasn't perfect, no one should die like this. Just want answers as to how can how can you be in the custody of the police, and you're supposed to be in like one of the safest buildings, right? All the metal detectors, all the deputy sheriffs, everybody's here. Nobody knew that this inmate that they put him in the uh, tank with had a sharp metal object. Bird says her son, who was killed two years ago, was also 25 at the time. Daryl. Fox 13's Kayla Solomon. Kayla. You're going to have more on the family coming up at 6. We'll see you then. Now, Fox 13 searched court records and found Dion Bird was charged earlier this year in what Memphis police called Operation Broken Bottles. Several people were arrested for breaking into liquor stores around town. Bird also faced a murder charge. He was allegedly involved in a deadly crash after one of those burglaries back in January. 
He was due in court this morning as part of a separate legal case out of Collierville.